Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. I am James and you're watching Blue Dog Reptiles. Now today we have a very exciting shipment that came in. Yes, it is open because I went through and opened up the bags because that way I can make sure that the animals are okay and all that. And then also <coughs> to untie them because trying to untie with one hand, not so good. Don't worry about the cuts on my hand. That is not from these snakes. That is actually from our mangrove monitor moving her around. She was less than thrilled. Anyway, this is a very exciting box because we are, we got these from Brian Barchuk. I've never bought snakes from him before, um, but these breeders were up on his site and so I wanted to jump on them. Um, but yeah, so we have two snakes in here. Can you guess what they are? And you're like, well, man, that's a big box. Yeah, that's because these are two breeders. So take a guess right now what you think they are down in the comments below. See if you're right. I will let you know they are both ball pythons. So maybe you can guess the morph. While we're unpackaging this, I'll give you some time to think about that. Also, while we're unpackaging this, thank you to all the new subscribers. If you are tuning in for the first time, um, we bring you exciting videos just like this one each and every Friday, as well as shorts throughout the week. So if that's something that interests you, please do consider subscribing, as well as hitting that like and notification bell and sharing with your friends. So, did everybody get their comments in, their guesses in? Well, without further ado, let's jump into it. So, as you can see, already these bags were nice and tied and all that, but like I said, I un tied them so that I could do this with one hand. So the first up is a male. This is a dragonfly yellow belly male. Now, some people get weird about reaching into uh, snake bags because they're worried about being bit. I'm not too worried about this because these guys are a little cold, so they're not as active. Oh my God, look at him. Where's your face? Oh, I know, you're hiding your face. Oh, there's your little face. Oh, so cute. And they're so big. I mean, look at the, I got good sized hands. That's a big boy. And I will, after, I'm gonna get these guys in the snake rack so that they can warm up. And then after a bit, we'll um, get weights on them. That way we know and can track their weights. I do recommend that for anybody that gets snakes, um, is weighing, you can pick up a gram scale from Amazon for like 10 or 12 bucks. Uh, they're really cheap, but it's nice. Once a month, we actually weigh all of our snakes to make sure that they're growing and doing everything that they possibly should be doing. And as everybody knows, in the, in the winter, ball pythons typically go off feed for bromation and breeding season. And so if they do go off feed with us weighing them every month, it will indicate whether or not they are losing weight. Now, if they lose uh, like five or 10 grams at, let's say, uh, ballpark, this one's probably about 14, 1500 grams, it's not a big deal. Now, if it's losing 100 grams or 200 grams, then that could be an issue. So that's why I like to weigh our snakes. So we are going to bring this boy into so we already have the snake drawers uh these are big snake drawers that we have already pre-set up for them we have paper towels down um because we treat every snake that comes in and so we start them off on paper towels we have our water in there we have something for them to rub up against and then there's a hide way in the back not that it's big enough for these boys but it is what it is so we are going to set him down there go ahead and close up the drawer so he can get nice and cozy Take the slide lock because he is big enough to open up that door and put a close on it. So next we are, so that one's done. That one's empty. Next up is our female. Now the female here, oh my God, she's so much bigger. She is an adult super pastel or uh, sorry, adult super pastel Wolma. 
So this one, I saw pictures of both of these online and I'm, I, I can't be happier with how beautiful that boy is and I can't wait to see this girl, see how big she is, see how beautiful she is. Oh my God, she's, she, she's got, oh my God, she's got some size to her. Look at that gorgeous beauty. Oh my God, I almost need two hands just to hold her. She is, she's probably every bit of 1800 grams or closer to 2000 but look at those markings just ab i mean look at that head just gorgeous i do want to say a big thank you to brian um these snakes are absolutely beautiful i'll let her chill down here so you guys can see her just absolutely gorgeous look at that head absolutely amazing and let's see if we can get a thumbnail with her oh but just i mean look at those markings truly just absolutely beautiful and she's so thick but i mean she's a breeder so what do you expect so let me know guys did you get your guesses right down in the comments we will know when we take a peek at them. I am gonna take her out of here because she is cold from the shipment because the weather, but I mean, look at that. I mean, she's just huge. But we're gonna take her in here. We're gonna, girly, you, you, you need to slide in. You, you, you need to slide in, there, there you go. Get that booty in there. There she goes. If you wonder, want to know where to get these snake racks from, check out our friends with vision cages. They are absolutely amazing. We keep, we have three big tubs down there for all our big girls. And then we have medium sized tubs and then we have our baby rack as well. So definitely check them out. But what do you guys think? Absolutely amazing. Uh, and I mean, to be, accept, to be expected, you know, the, the shipment was proper, everything was right, the heat pack was still warm, and FedEx actually did their job for once and actually got my animals here when they were supposed to be here. So, but, and also to Brian Barczyk's crew, they actually called me ahead of time um, to coordinate the best day for these guys to arrive. Um, and then that way we could also check out weather both there and here so that we had the warmest possible day. Even though I had these guys held at the hub, I still want to make sure that it's the warmest day. That way there's least possible risk in these guys getting stuck somewhere. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We greatly, greatly, man, if I can talk, we greatly, See, see at it again. We greatly appreciate your guys' support and we will see you next week.